Hey, it's Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com and welcome back to the series Healthy Organic Vegan on a Budget, which is giving you tips leading up to the launch of my upcoming ebook by the same name. You're going to get a really solid glimpse into that, a little teaser you might say. This is video number three and I'm going to give you five tips for not feeling deprived when you're on a budget and eating super healthy. A lot of people think that eating healthy alone, so organic, whole foods, plant-based diet, they think just that is going to make them feel deprived. But then when you add in that extra level of cutting back on your costs, it's kind of scary. Because we can spend a lot of money on packaged foods, right? You can go to almost any grocery store, you can shop online, you can go to restaurants and find incredibly tasty plant-based foods, but a lot of times it's really expensive. In Los Angeles, for example, we have a number of organic vegan restaurants and I can't get out of there without spending like $25 or $30. Well, I can, and I'll go. <laughs> that's not going to be covered in this video, but I will be giving some tips on how to go to restaurants like this without spending a lot of money. It's just that it's easy to spend a lot of money at places like that and at natural grocery stores. Take it from me, I have a history of spending way too much when I go shopping. But having some really solid budget tips has helped me realize that I can feel super satisfied eating foods that are low cost. And today, I'm gonna to give you some really great tips on that, starting with making your own food. In the first video, I talked about this tip, how it's really helpful for your budget to cut back on the number of packaged foods that you buy. And you might have this concern thinking, oh no, but I love my packaged foods, I love my food bars, and I love my chips, and I love all of these things that I get at the store on a regular basis. But as I mentioned in that video, you can make anything at home and it can cost you so much less. So I'm encouraging you to get super creative and find recipes for your favorite foods. This could be smoothies, this could be really great coffee drinks, chips as I mentioned, all sorts of meals like burritos you can make at home, tons of different dessert ideas out there, all sorts of snacks, you can even make your own food bars. There are really a ton of recipes, an endless amount of recipes online and in cookbooks for this and I'll give you resources for how to find those in the ebook. But yeah, you can just get really creative. And when I say creative too, it's all about the presentation, right? Sometimes people don't want to make their own food because of the experience isn't quite the same as going to a restaurant or buying it packaged. But if you get crafty, you can make beautiful dishes. You can plate them in a certain way so they look like they're from a restaurant. You can use colorful ingredients so they're more appealing to the eye. You can control the amount of salts and sugars and oils that you use depending on your uh, feeling about those. And those are obviously going to elevate the flavor. Same with lots, using lots of spices. So getting starting to understand how your food can start to taste more flavorful and experimenting as you go along, you're gonna figure it all out. Tip number two is to just eat smaller portions. If there are certain foods that you really love and you feel like you just don't wanna give up, even though they're expensive, you can still buy them, just eat less of them. So let's say you have a chocolate bar that you love and it's really pricey because it's organic and it's fair, fair trade. You gotta have a lot of self-control, of course, because it's easy to get a, a chocolate bar and eat it all in one setting, but if you were to just you know, cut it up into smaller pieces, portion it out about how much you want to spend per serving. Just the taste alone can give you what you're after and you can really savor it. Enjoy it like a small square of chocolate. If you really enjoy it, it's going to taste just as good as if you were to just gobble up the whole bar. Number three is to look for coupons for your favorite treats. I, I will have tons of resources for how to find coupons on organic vegan food in the book, but trust me, they are out there. And one really great tip for you is to just message the people that you want coupons from. So let's say you have a favorite brand or say a favorite product by a brand and you can't find a coupon for it. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Send them over an email or contact them on social media asking for a discount. They might even send you a free product voucher so it'll be completely free to you. But even a dollar or so off can save you a ton of money in the long run and allow you to still enjoy that treat on a regular basis. Number four is similar to the coupon idea, except this time I encourage you to enter giveaways. 
People do giveaways all the time, especially bloggers, and you can just do a search online. Just type in the name of your favorite product followed by the word giveaway and you might find one. Or follow certain blogs that offer giveaways on a regular basis on the type of things that you like and you might be able to get it for free, maybe a, a huge box full of your favorite foods. And the last tip, number five, is to find free samples either in person or online. So in person, you can go to a lot of natural grocers and at least once a month, they're gonna have somebody come in to do food demos in which you can get a little taste of something. Now, it might not seem like a big deal, but at least you get to try it for free. And you could always like go back a few times or, or uh, show, you know, tell the person that's, that's uh, doing the samples that you really love it. Maybe they'll give you a little extra or something. The same goes for restaurants. A lot of restaurants will let you try things. You know, if you go into like an ice cream shop, they'll let you try a taste of something. Same thing goes with a lot of places, as long as you do it in moderation. And then the other great place to get free samples is at events. There are events all year round. There are specifically vegan events happening all the time throughout the country and the world. So go to those and get the free samples there. And lastly, just like with the coupon tip, you can always message companies and say, hey, right now I'm on a really strict budget, but I really want to try your product. Do you have any free samples you can send me? And I bet you in many cases the answer will be yes. I hope these tips helped you out today. I want to know, do you have any other creative ways for making or receiving your favorite products on a budget? Are there any like websites that you go to or certain places that you go to on a regular basis? Are there certain recipes that you love to make that have mimicked the exact experience of the product that you would spend a ton of money on? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the mailing list for this video series so you make sure to get it in your inbox every single day. I don't want you to miss out on any of these 30 videos that I'm going to be offering leading up to the ebook. And when you sign up for the mailing list, you'll also be in the loop for when that ebook comes out. Maybe I'll even give you a special discount on it. I'm just saying. In the meantime, you can check out ecovegangal.com for all sorts of tips on healthy, happy living, including product recommendations and interviews and all sorts of inspirational content there. You can also find me on all the social media networks. The links are down below. And as I always say, the networks are an amazing way for you to gain support and to learn things from not just me, but everybody else that's part of them. There are so many amazing people in the Eco Vegan Gal community, so be sure to jump in on there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos or any other of the other content that I do. Thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. And this video is all about how to get started, how to learn kind of the basics of eating healthy without spending a lot of money.